Okay, so you guys might have noticed some things have changed around these parts. Is it the glasses? That's new. That's that's crazy. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a going to work. I'm going to work. La 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 la. Work work. Okay. Now, first off, before I start diving into everything, I just kind of want to say that this isn't going to be a video about Ladylike. I've read all your comments on my socials. I see you and I hear you, but I just kind of feel uncomfortable talking about Ladylike stuff when not everyone from Ladylike is present. So I promise you the dust is settling around that front and we'll be able to post something soon. So just be patient with us. Please and thank you. Also, I just want to address the fact that we are very much still friends. We text literally all the time. I have plans this week with Jen, Kristen, and Chantel, and Freddie and I are scheming to get husbands. Okay, now me. So don't be mad at me, but I actually left BuzzFeed in November. November 21st, to be exact. Okay, so let me just take you all back there. So the date was November 11th, 2019, and I had just had this weird surgery that was like three in one. Hi babe, they just put an IV in my hand. Um, I'm gonna pretend it's not my hand anymore. I just wanna let you know, should anything happen, you're responsible for the cats. Uh... And I had to take a week off of work. And during that week, I was doing stuff like editing videos for this very YouTube channel that I hopefully you are subscribed to. <laughs> during this week off, I got an official job offer to go work with my friend Allison. It's four hot dogs over at the NBC Digital Labs as a consulting producer. Now, if you're wondering what all those words mean, let me unpack this for you. Allison is my friend who I actually met through Patrick. And high key, she and I would make a much cuter couple on Instagram if I didn't have the straights. The straights is like where my body reacts to things like crotchal bumps and gray sweatpants, pictures of NBA players holding babies, g Easy, all against my better judgment. Anyways, Allison helped me land this job at NBC because she loves me the most. I work in this department called the Digital Labs where we help develop digital content for NBC. Now, if you're saying to yourself, I didn't know that NBC made stuff for YouTube and other platforms. Well, they do. And I was hired to help them expand out. I'm here, I'm one of those like Hollywood permalance situations. In Hollywood, a lot of times people are hired freelance, which means it's a full-time job still, but you aren't staffed and you don't get health insurance. And you just kind of work on projects on a contract basis. After being staffed at BuzzFeed for almost five years, it's a little scary, but it's also really thrilling because it's like, this bitch can do anything. I can work for anyone who exchanges goods for digital producing services. I can go anywhere that my 2001 Toyota Corolla will take me. But Devin, why NBC? And to that, I say, open up a new tab. No, I'll wait, I'll wait, open up a new tab. Type in www.linkedin.com. Then look me up, Devin Lytle. Is my LinkedIn updated? Hell no, but what do you notice? You see that little cute little banner with the woman pointing at Rockefeller Center? You see, I have always wanted to work for NBC. I watched the Today Show every day of my childhood. Friends was on my TV every day when I came home from school. And 30 Rock is a very special show to me that helped me get through my eating disorder treatment. I, and if I'm gonna do this like Hollywood thing, I should have some network experience, right? Will I be here forever? My dog, I don't know. Is it cool for right now? Oh my God, yeah. In fact, here. Number five, I can see Hogwarts from my office window. This is not a joke. It's Hogwarts and it's in Universal City. Who'd have thought? Number four, I now work with people who are older than me. At BuzzFeed, I felt like I was the oldest grandma who would talk to anyone about Helen Hunt's performance in the 90s sitcoms, Mad About You, to a bunch of blank faces. Uh, do you have a second to talk about Helen Hunt's performance in the 90s sitcom, Mad About You? Yes. Do you know that sitcom? Yeah, Mad About You. Yeah, you know yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, with Paul Reiser. Oh my God. Number three, I have a telephone at my desk. I don't know why. Once someone called me on it. It was a wrong number, but my heart dropped to my vagina for a second. Sometimes when I'm bored, I like to pretend I'm leaving a sad voicemail to Dr. Manhattan. Number two, I work with men. All of these men. Look at them. All of them. 
menning around here. I haven't worked with a bunch of men in legit, never in my professional life. Like before BuzzFeed, I taught at a pole dancing studio and worked freelance for Killer Films, a company owned by women. So far, my favorite thing to do is to make these men feel uncomfortable by saying things like, how, how many ovaries do I have? Two. <laughs> Two. Great. Right? <laughs> hey Drew, what do you think I should do if I feel like I'm ovulating? Take it out. Take it all out. The number one thing I love about my new job is that I work in development. I get to come up with a billion shows and series ideas every day, and that means I'm never bored. So that's kind of what I'm working on. Stuff with BuzzFeed got a little sticky, so this bitch had to go. Let me be clear about my relationship with BuzzFeed. It's a little complicated. Do I agree with every decision that they make and have made in the past? No. Am I about to spill the tea on the situation? Also no. At the end of the day, BuzzFeed is a company. And honestly, I can't imagine what it's like to run a company that's entire business model is based off of the economics of the internet. Think about that for a second. The internet. The internet is just a popularity contest that's changing all the time with all these silent rules and barely any jurisdiction. It's literally the Wild West. I am super grateful for my experience there, but this little birdie had to fly. But Jeffrey, why don't you just commit to being a YouTuber yourself? Great question. And the answer, is a bunch of fold. Number one, I love producing. I do. I love being that boss bitch who has the entire show concept and all its logistics in her head. I like being the person that people go to to ask about creative decision making. I don't know, it's my kink. Reason number two, I have a butt ton of student loans. If I can be honest with y'all, my mom is having some health issues right now and I need to have the means to be able to fly home whenever I want. Plus. I mean, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but I think I'm really boring. For real, y'all, when I'm not working or hanging out with friends, my interests include taking hot baths, listening to podcasts, developing new hot chocolate recipes. That's about it. Jenna Marbles, I believe, said it best when she sang, I'm a 31 year old lady who likes boring and domestic things. Don't worry, I will be taking up space but right now I would love to devote my energy to uplifting voices that are underrepresented in media so they can make dope shit. And you know what? I can do that now because I work in development. Reason number three, I am still YouTubing. What do you think you're doing right now? You're watching a video of mine on YouTube. I want these videos on Devin But Better to be like longer, investigative, almost diary entries. Now because I have a full-time job, I will probably only be posting twice a month. All in all, I intend to keep this channel alive and always striving to be better. So that's it. Did I answer all the questions? Ow, I think so. If I didn't, please ask them respectfully in my comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. Lastly, I just gotta say, I love you all so very much. You are all beautiful nerds and I just am so grateful that you are interested in me and my ideas and content. That's so very nice that you spend your time watching my stuff. Like you could be doing anything else, truly anything else. And it is not lost on me how privileged I am. You are giving me your attention and that is powerful. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time when I finally post this hair video I've been teasing y'all about. Okay, the TLDR of this video is I have found the secret to good hair. I mean, I mean, good hair at least for me. I mean, like good der hair, better hair, better hair for me. And I, I literally, it's changed my life, and I, I cannot wait to tell you guys about that. Until next time, love you, you beautiful nerds. <laughs>